Go, Jen. How was your last vacation? It was really nice. Very good. All right. Cool. So, how was? It was. He, she, it was. He, she, it is. He, she, it was. Was. Mm -hmm. Very good. Picture three. Is your father home? Not yet. He usually gets home at nine. Ah, se aparecer adverbios de frequência, usually, always, sometimes, never, é presente. O que, que vai acontecer na terceira pessoa afirmativa? Você vai ter que colocar um S, ES ou IES no verbo. I go, he goes. I play, she plays, right? So, uh, not yet. How do we say ainda now in English? Not yet. Not yet. Né? Já terminamos o livro, Jen? Not, not yet. yet. That's right. Fez a lição 12, Letícia? Not yet. Okay, you see? So, is her father home? Is the girl's father home? No. Not. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, <laughs> or, or no, he isn't. That's right. No, he isn't. Okay, but what? So he usually gets home to arrive. <laughs> Get home. So he usually gets home at nine, nine o'clock. That's right. So does Leticia? Does her father usually get home at nine o'clock? Yes. Yes, he's. Listen to the question again. Does her father usually get home at nine o'clock? Yes, he does. That's right. And what time do you usually get home, Jen, from work? I usually get home. You usually... I, I, no, no, what time do you usually get home? I usually have no, to work. It's, it's not verb to be. I usually. <laughs> I usually get, get home at 6 o'clock. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, good life, good life. <laughs> See, well, I'm home now. I'm home now, right? Yeah, that's right. And what about you, Leticia? What time do you usually get home from school in the afternoon? I usually get home. I usually get home at, uh, at one o'clock. No, you go to school in the afternoon. You go to school at one o'clock. What time do you get home? Ah. Uh, uh, I usually get home. I usually get home thirteen. At 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 thirteen. No, let's just say thirteen. You know, nem nem se fala os números assim. But you study in the afternoon, Leticia. Do you study in the afternoon? Yes. Okay, so you go to school at one o'clock. What time do you get home from school? Uh, no, it's not ah. Uh, it's not ah. Uh, it's o. Uh, no, it's o. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, I usually get home. I, I usually get home at five, at at five thirty. Five ten. Okay, five ten. Okay. Cool. Ah, nós já conversamos sobre isso que é bem curto o período, né? São quatro horas e meia, quatro horas só, né? Uhum. Quatro horas. Nós você vê só nos Estados Unidos você fica o dia inteiro na escola. Uhum. Você vai de, de manhã. Quatro horas com intervalo ainda. Com intervalo. Uhum. É, lá você fica o dia inteiro na escola. E depois da escola ainda tem atividades depois. Você chega em casa às cinco e meia, seis horas da tarde. Quando os pais estão saindo do trabalho, eles podem às vezes buscar as crianças na escola. Quem faz as atividades extras, sabe? Basquete, treino, ensaio para uma peça de teatro. Tem outras coisas que eles fazem. Música, né? Yeah. Ok, guys. So, is your father home? Not yet. He usually gets home at nine. That's right. Let's go ahead. Um, Jen, with Leticia, go ahead. Is your father home? Not yet. He usually gets home at nine. That's right, Leticia, please. Is your father home? Not yet. He usually gets home at nine. That's right. Yeah, so it's late, huh? Nine o'clock is, is late. late. 
Yeah, I usually get home at 10, 10, 30, 10 15, usually. Now I'm home because it's online. But usually at school, 10 o'clock, and I leave school and come home, 10, 15, crazy. Very good, you guys. Picture four, we have, look, was the party crowded? Colocaram um desenho depois do W aí, né? Crowded. Was the party crowded last night? Past tense, last night. Yes, it was. What is crowded? Crowded is a lot of people. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Crowded. Okay, so I was at the Metallica show. Yeah. In Curitiba, at the. Como é que é? Não, é. O estádio. Esqueci o nome do estádio lá. Couto Pereira. Estádio Couto Pereira, Curitiba. And it was. What? It was. was crowded. crowded. Oh, yeah. Crowded, a lot of people. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. A lot of people. Uh huh. Okay, crowded. So, in the picture, was the party crowded last night, Leticia? Yes. Yes. Excuse me. Was the part in the picture? Was the party crowded last night? Yes, it was. Uh huh. What about you, Jen? At your house, was your house crowded last night? A lot of people. No. It wasn't. That's right. It wasn't. Yeah, crowded. A lot of people. No, no, no. Yeah, but uh, antes da pandemia, né? Uns dois, dois anos atrás, o último festa do Xixo que teve aqui na cidade. What can you say? It was what? Crowded. Crowded. A lot of people. Crowded. Very good, guys. So the picture, was the party crowded last night? Yes, it was. Let's go, Jen. Read picture and together with Leticia. Picture four. Was the party crowded last night? Party, party. Yes, it was. That's right. Leticia, please. Was the party crowded last night? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Very good, you guys. Picture five. What? I'm sorry. Where were you yesterday? You see, I wrote the questions on the board. We have where are you now? I'm home. But where were? Passado, the past tense of are, were. So where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? Oh. Huh? That's right. So here, the, the boy, I was at my friend's house. Okay? So, Jen, was the boy at his friend's house yesterday? Excuse me? Was the boy at his friend's house yesterday? Yes, he was. That's right. He was. Um, so, um, where, where was, Leticia, where was the boy yesterday? Uh, he was at your... No, your, your, your. Oh, his, his. His, his friend's house. That's right. Were you at your friend's house yesterday, Leticia? No, no, I wasn't. That's right. Hey, hey Jen, were you at work yesterday morning? Yes, I was. Very good. Past tense of the verb to be, you guys, was and were. Pa again, past tense of the verb to be? Was and were. Was and were. Negativa, wasn't and weren't. I am, I was. You are, you were. Were you? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. That's right. Were you at school yesterday morning, Leticia? No, no, I was. Oh, that's right. Yesterday morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Were you at school yesterday afternoon? Yes, I was. Okay. Tarigad, tarigad, né? Okay. That's right. And Jen, were you home last night at 10 o'clock? 
Yes, I was. Very good, you guys. So let's go. Let's read picture five. Jen, please. Picture five. Go ahead. Where? Where were you yesterday? I was at my friend's house. 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 That's right. Leticia? Where were you yesterday? I was at my friend's house. That's right. Very good, you guys. And picture six. Were the kids at school yesterday morning? Yes, they were. Okay, it's they were. Were the kids? Yes, they were. Okay, was he? Yes, he was. Agora, a única que muda que é o were you. Que aí a resposta é yes, I was. Você tem que lembrar isso, que o passado de am é was. O passado de is também é was. O am e o is é was. Então, fique ligado nisso. Ok, guys? Entenderam isso, né? Ok. So, were the kids at school yesterday morning? Yes, they were. So, my question is, where were the kids yesterday morning? Uh, they were at school. That's right, Leticia. Perfect. That's right. Hey, Jen, was Leticia at school yesterday morning? Yes, he was. No, Leticia. Was Leticia at school yesterday morning? Uh, no, no, she wasn't. That's right. When was Leticia at school? Uh, she was there. There at school? No, oh no, there já é o at school. She, uh, she was there. She was there. Yes, afternoon. yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. That's right. And when, Leticia, when were the kids at school? In the picture? Um, repeat, repeat, they were there. They were there. They, they were there. They were there uh, at? No, no, no. They were there. When is the question? When they were there? When were the kids at school? They were there. Oh, there. So, this is a repeat at school because ya está na pergunta. They were there. They were there. Yesterday morning. Repeat. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. That's right. They were there yesterday morning. Okay. Okay, Jen. Okay. No problem. They were there yesterday morning. So, ask the question, Jen. Picture six, please. Were the kids at school yesterday yesterday morning? Yes, they were. Let's go, Lechisa, please. Were the kids at school yesterday morning? Yes, they were. Very good. All right. And picture seven, we have when. Oh, when. When were you at the beach? I was there. You see, there is where? At the beach. You see, when were you at school? I was there. When were you at work? I was there. Não precisa repetir at work, at school, at the beach. Você vai falar there, porque é o lugar, né? Okay? When were you in Curitiba? I was, I was there. there. I don't know. In January, last week, yesterday. I don't know. Okay. So here, when were you at the beach? I was there in January. So Jen, was she at the beach in January? Yes. It were. No, it's it the were. girl. It's the girl. It's a girl. Was I she at the beach in January? Yes, she was. That's right. Were you at the beach in January, Jen? No, I wasn't. No, no. Not January, no. no. When? No, when? No, when? No were... vacation. No vacation. Oh man, <laughs> holiday, né? Dá uma fugida. October. Oh, October. But you the, you went to the beach in October. To the beach, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yeah. No. 
<risos> Mas é, é, não, é coletivo, não pode fazer coletivo, né? Que é banco, né? Não, não é dividido me, por mês? É. Não, não vai mês. Uh -huh. That's right. What about, so when, Leticia, when were you at the beach? I was there in, in January. Oh, yeah, January. São Francisco do Sul, in January. January. Cool. Yeah, I was at the beach in January, too. I was at Bombas, Bombas, Bombinhas, Bombas. I'm sorry, Jen. Uh, it's okay. But that. when when was the last time you were at the beach? Do you remember the beach, water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we have the Iguazu Beach. You go to the Iguazu Beach, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But which when when was the last time you were at the beach? You remember two years ago, three years ago? Uh, Last uh, year? Two, two years. Ago. Uh, Repeat, two years ago. Two, you, two year, years? No, two years. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Which beach? Uh, Bombinhas. Oh, Bombinhas too. Cool. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay, you guys. Uh huh. So, let's read picture seven. Go ahead, Leticia, begin, please. When were you? When were you at the beach? I was there in January. Very good. Go ahead, Jen. Where, when were you at the beach? I was there in January. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And picture eight, we have what was your favorite part of the movie? Okay, the favorite part. Because we have, let's repeat it, guys. The beginning. The beginning. The middle. The middle. Road. And the ending. And the ending. Yeah, we have uh, the beginning, the middle, and the ending. Finish the movie, right? The ending. Yeah. The, you want me to write it down here? We have the, the parts of the movie. We have the beginning. The beginning, the middle, and the ending. The beginning, the middle, or the ending? Your favorite part of the movie. Yeah. Algo que eu detesto de chegar assim, entrar e o filme já começou. Ah, não. Às vezes, naquele primeiro dois minutos, já aparece uma coisa que vai determinar o filme todo, assim, e você perdeu de vista, né? Vou chegar antes, tranquilo. Ok, guys? So, the, man, the boy's question. What was your favorite part of the movie? And the girl, it was the ending. The ending. So, was the ending her favorite part of the movie? Yeah, see it was. Uh -huh. Eu não posso fazer mais assim, né? Eu não posso fazer mais assim, porque eu tenho que fazer assim. <laughs> Past tense, yes it was. <laughs> não é o yes it is. What was? Yes it was. Uh, past tense, yes it was. Favorite part, the ending. That's right. So let's just say, what was her favorite part of the movie? It My was favorite. no here. What was her favorite part of the movie? It was. It was the the ending. The ending, the ending. The ending. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Às vezes é final porque às vezes não é muito legal. É. Ah, mas é bom aquele que tem os twists, né? Que você acha que é alguma coisa e quando chega lá e cara, uma coisa. Né? Dois filmes assim que tem essas paradas assim de final que você fica louco. É um filme chamado Corpo Fechado com o Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, os atores, e também com o Bruce Willis, o Sexto Sentido. Um filme mais antigo, Sexto Sentido e Corpo Fechado. Em filmes antigos, mas filmam, filmam. No final você. 
Fica louco. Very good, you guys. Let's read picture eight to finish. Go ahead, Jen. What was your favorite part of the movie? It was the ending. Okay, and Leticia, please. What was your favorite part of the movie? It was the ending. Very good. Okay, guys, we'll be right back.